Hello, welcome to Dinosaurs A to Z, where we stomp through the alphabet and explore the extraordinary world of dinosaurs. I'm Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Eli Lilly and Company, Extraordinary Scientist in Residence at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and I'm your guide for Dinosaurs A to Z. Today, our featured dinosaur is the Platycus, for the letter D. Now, there are at least two correct ways of saying the name Diplodocus, which are Diplodocus or Diplodocus. Both are equally correct. Diplodocus was a large sauropod dinosaur, possibly measuring over 100 feet long. That's as long as a blue whale. Diplodocus would have had over 110 vertebrae. These are bones that make up the neck, back, and tail. Well, if you had a tail. In fact, it had 15 neck vertebrae. Mammals only have seven, whether you're a human, a giraffe, or a mouse. In the case of giraffes, they just have really long neck bones. Despite Diplodocus's enormous size, their head was pretty small, only about a foot and a half long. Why do you think it had such a small head? Well, having a small head on the end of a really long neck has its advantages. One of which is that Diplodocus's head wouldn't have been very heavy. Now, try holding your arm straight out and hold a large water bottle in it. How long can you last holding your arm out like that? Now try it with a smaller water bottle and imagine it to be like Diplodocus's head. Much easier, right? But one really cool thing about their head is that the openings in the skull for the nose are located on top of their head Ours is right here, where our nose sticks out. Paleontologists over a hundred years ago thought Diplodocus lived with most of its body underwater, and that the nose on top would have been used like a snorkel. But modern research shows that Diplodocus lived on land, and that they probably had their nostrils at the front of their snout, like most other animals. That just means that they would have had a really big long nose from the top of their head to the tip of their snout. Diplodocus is found in the Morrison Formation. This is a layer of sedimentary rock that extends from New Mexico to Montana and was deposited during the late Jurassic period. Many famous dinosaurs are found in the Morrison Formation, including Stegosaurus, Brontosaurus, and Allosaurus. The Children's Museum of Indianapolis has been excavating some of these amazing dinosaurs on a fossil root site called the Jurassic Mile. Among the many amazing dinosaur finds is a beautifully preserved Diplodocus skeleton, who you can soon visit at the museum. The Jurassic Mile unveils new and interesting information every year, and you can follow our adventures and discoveries on the Children's Museum of Indianapolis' Mission Jurassic website. Diplodocus is an amazing dinosaur, and there are over 50 other dinosaurs that start with the letter D. Which one will be your favorite?